more people don't use it. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to learn Betty Book. So let's do Possible Farm Betty Book. I will actually stop you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do Important Leaf. Oh, I wish you knew. Here. I'm going to uh, bring you underneath your chin, hand. Okay, as you come up this way, again, if it's always it's the same principle. But once the wrists go beyond the shoulders, you're you're gonna it's, you're gonna find it really hard to push her back mm -hmm. because it's such such a small muscle to be able to pull her back this way. It's just that shoulders, you know. It's all shoulders from here. So keep that wrist stacked right above your shoulders. Again, if you drop down as far this way, have to fly. Bring the feet down first. Super important. Bring those feet down first. <laughs> um, so pretty safe because your legs are low already. The only thing is your your hands are oh, bound. bound. Whenever you have a bound position, it can be dangerous. So think about bringing your feet down first. Okay. So let's demonstrate bit by bit what you need to do to make this happen. Okay. Oh, well, let's first demonstrate what it should look like first. Yeah, importantly, hand underneath the chin, coming up, and then you're going to bring your feet together like a diamond, and you can keep your knees out. There you go. And that's baby boop. You can do that, and you can also do one hand like that, right? So we'll come on down. And we're gonna break um, we're gonna break down all the little bits and pieces that create this pose. Okay. So first things first is distance, just like we always do. Hands down where the feet can touch. Instead of bird legs or feet, we're going to bring our feet right underneath the hip bone. If you're right on the hip bone, the body doesn't get a chance to fold over. You've got to get underneath them, okay? And then she's going to go nice wide straddle because when she comes in, she's going to stay straddled. She gives me, the flag gives me her hands. Same like bird will receive halfway and kick on up. I'm going to keep those legs 90 degrees. A very common mistake against the base will bring their feet way too far this way because their hands over here. It's a natural tendency to just bring the weight more towards your hands. Try to, it's really interesting how far you can go back. Just keep going back till you feel a nice 90 and get a good solid folded leaf first. Notice how the flyer is really piking their legs down. Very important. The moment she keeps her, she doesn't pike, the feet slip off. So that's why it's very important to keep that deep pike and she's relaxing here. Another common mistake flyers will do is they'll try to push off because they're afraid to fall. They'll try to push off the ground. One way to counter that is just bring the back of your palms on the ground like that or just try to keep your hands off the ground because the more you try to control it, it makes it harder for the base to, to base this. So from there, I'm going to gently guide the palms of her hands underneath her chin and then I'll grab her while keeping my stability in the legs the whole time 90. I'm going to slowly grab underneath her elbows with the palms and the thumbs pointing up towards the hands, I'm slowly going to push up and lock my arms out. And then watch your feet. She's going to bring her feet together. The reason why they do this is one, I think it looks cuter, but also it, it puts less pressure on the hips when you fold the feet together. For, for most people, do you feel that to be true? It's just like a different angle once you fold the feet together. Again, arms come straight up. And then you can gently guide both of the elbows into one hand. And this trains you to balance on three points. You can put both hands there for now and then once you feel balanced, keep that stack. Never, never beyond your shoulder, right? Wrists are right above your shoulder. Stack both hands and if you feel comfortable, you can Take this hand on out there to train three points of contact. And coming down, the fly will um, straddle once more. We just come slowly back down to fold it leaf. Grab the hands. I'm going to meet her in the middle, bending down while pushing on the arms. And then she can get back up. 